Today, I'm introducing a new playlist or segment to the channel and it's going to be about movies. Woohoo! Hello and welcome to another episode of Share Dicks. <laughs> How are you doing? So I realized that I promised you guys stuff about international students or studying abroad, lifestyle and travel and all I've been doing is studying abroad. So here you go <laughs> with lifestyle because um, I don't watch a lot of movies, but I do have opinions about the ones that I watch. So I will try to do the reviews of the things that I watch right here on the channel. Basically, it's going to be not specific to any industry. So it will just be what I'm watching at the moment and how I feel about it, whether movies or TV shows or web series or anything else in between. So. Party. Kicking off the series with Sister, this is a Nigerian movie that's currently streaming on Amazon Prime Video and that was directed and produced by Biodun Steven. Sister tells the story of Vicky, a young woman who got pregnant as a teenager, uh, was neglected by her family and her boyfriend's family, moved in with him on campus, gave up her education to see him through school because now they were a family after all they had a child together and the families had neglected them. Then she got pregnant again a second time whilst it was rounding up university and it just upped and left while it went for the Nigerian National Youth Service. The worst part, he did this through a letter and a text message. Oh my show. children no source of living no family she manages to raise these two children until they're in university and then somehow she suddenly just runs into this ex-lover who now has another family See? <laughs> this movie got me in my feelings i was sad i was angry i laughed like a lot of things actually it was such a sad yet relatable story and from the comments that i've seen online this thing does not seem to be that far-fetched because a lot of people are saying they know people that this has happened to in real life in nigeria so if you're nigerian or you're not and you know someone who this has happened to or has happened to you please put it in the comments and let's know what exactly happened talk about the acting the lead character Vicky was played by Kendi Bankole. Kendi brought it in this movie. Kendi was epic. Oh my god. Like I loved this character. I loved her acting. Um someone said to me that oh they didn't think that she was consistent with like the grammar or something. Sometimes she spoke good English, sometimes she didn't. But personally I think that that was like completely consistent because it's not safe she's a complete illiterate she actually finished secondary school education before she dropped out so of course she knew some things it's just she was bound to make mistakes at some point and then she had two teenagers who wanted her to be like up to par with things that were happening and current slangs and all of that so she was going to make mistakes obviously but it's not like she doesn't know anything at all I felt our joys, our pains, our struggles. There was this scene where she bought phones for her children and just so that they could feel like normal teenagers who also had smart devices and all of that. The joy, them taking pictures together and then she just panicking as a Yoruba mom saying that, you know, magic could fall, don't let it fall and break and all of that was just really relatable. Like I could literally <laughs> see a parent who struggled to get that phone or those phones say you better not break it and then there was this scene where she was crying and her son was asking her why she was sad and crying and if it was about them and she said you people too you are in my thinking oh my god like that touched me like i was i was really touched i was just like like i cried in this movie that thought it was my problem but i cried <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking. About what? About us. You people too, my thinking. 
Mommy, I you know we try not to stress you. Are we putting you under any pressure? Oh, no, oh, yeah. oh, no, oh, yeah. Can we talk about that second pregnancy? Like, you're still struggling through the consequences of the first one. Tell me why your contraceptive method is withdrawal. Like, I don't understand. <laughs> how are you pregnant again? Like, even if there is like, how? <laughs> I see if it wasn't a part of it. Like, tell me how, but really, how are you pregnant again? I'm pregnant. How, how, how come? What do you mean, how come? That was just like really reckless of them. Like it was a communal effort, so it's not even anybody's fault. The person that was withdrawing, the person that was allowing the withdrawal, that did not have all that contraceptive methods, so like. Just as an aside, um, I know that some state hospitals in Nigeria, especially Lagos State, give free contraceptives to women. Um, so if you know that you need it, please get some. Character Jemima was very nice. I liked her character. Tokwe Olowonio did really well. Um, I don't really understand why they northernized that character that much, considering that um, the movie wasn't set in the north but um so like i don't think that there was so much need for the plenty house phrases or northern phrases and slangs uh, execution was flawless nonetheless like it was really really good <laughs> the wife of fola <laughs> me i thought that she could have done better and when I'm saying she could have done better, I'm not talking about Bisola Ayola. I'm talking about the character herself. Um, she was just not angry enough. <laughs> like, you couldn't have been married to somebody for that long, have children with him, and then find out that your entire relationship has been based on a lie, or he has lied to you from the start of your relationship, and you just be chilled. And the first mode that you go into is you need to do right by her mode. Like, no, <laughs> what happened to you? And the fact that you were deceived and lied to, um, and that your marriage is essentially like figments of your imagination or whatever. Like, you you have i feel like any normal woman would be angrier than that and all of that at some point yes they had that argument where she was like well you didn't even ask how i feel about it you didn't even ask that i will we break it to our children blah 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 i understand but like that was like after after <laughs> as he's telling you all that laughter of oh no you're joking no tell me you're joking i'm just like this is so <laughs> this is so weird and this is so unlikely to happen but i mean what do i know Fola was a useless person through and through the inability to take responsibility deception trying to throw money at the problem self-centeredness superficial apologies he had all the problems in this life all the flaws all the red flags <laughs> from their younger selves like the first time she got pregnant it was like what are you going to do like how is it not our problem what am i going to do like really <laughs> i don't understand did i pregnant myself what am i going to do what did you guys think about Fola? maybe it's just me that just really couldn't stand that character what did you think about him like what did you think let me know down below by the way i've noticed that dme okonawa which is the actor that played Fola is being stereotyped as a bad boy or as the bad boy in Nigerian movies. Like once I see him on a movie poster, I can almost assume that whatever his character is will have some bad traits or be a bad boy or be abusive or something. Am I the only one that thinks that he's being cast as uh, a bad boy in almost every movie? In general, this was a very, very good watch for me. I thoroughly enjoyed watching this movie and I totally recommend it if you haven't seen it yet. It's streaming on Amazon Prime Video. So do you guys like this type of content? Let me know. Also remember to subscribe, like and share. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.